What is up YouTube and welcome back to part 2 of the 100 days, so 200 days now, with the Universe Sim. Just as a caveat to that, I am aware that the uh, new patch has come out that allows modding. I am of course going to be bringing a video out with the mods as soon as mods are available. At the minute, the mods that I'm seeing are tests or they are... Silly ones that I'm not interested in. I want real mods, proper mods. Maybe some game-breaking mods would be fun just to try them out, especially at the beginning. But we'll see. So as soon as that happens, I will be putting a video out. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe to Swing Along. Of course, if this video gets 20 likes, it will, of course, move on to part 3 for the 300 days. How many days will it take to get into space and how many days will it take to actually complete the game? That's depending on your likes for this series. Now you can see I'm just having a look at the expedition camp, getting into it. Day 102 now, there is a volcano, of course, in 10 seconds. We have it turned up to the max, so we're having a lot of volcanoes or a lot of natural disasters. A lot of wolf attacks, though, to be honest, the wolf attacks are really easy to mitigate with a bit of lightning. So yes, another volcano erupting. We are a decent amount of distance away from it, so I'm not too worried. And to be honest, there's nothing we can do anyway. We've already established it. If the volcano erupts and the boulders, lava boulders, whatever they are, land on a person, they're dead regardless. If it lands on a building, it's flattened regardless. So you just let it do its thing. There's no point, uh, in my opinion, uh, restricting them from that. Now I am trying to push this population quickly uh, now, on this occasion, actually, you will see shortly that I do push it a bit too quick, where we actually run out of um, jobs for them to do, which would give us loads of workers, and then a bit later on, it switches, and then we've got no workers and too many jobs that require doing, because we're upgrading too fast, so... The one thing about this, though, in terms of a time trial or any sort of speed that you want to try and beat... The research is timed. It's fixed times. So there's nothing you can do about that. Whether you play the game on single speed, double, or half, whatever, it is the time. Is the time. So the amount of days that will go by will always be similar. Now, actually, for this expedition, I don't have enough people. It's very expensive. I really do need to pull this guy, these guys back. Day 104 now doing some research, pushing through to oil jacks and then eventually, obviously at the end of that electricity. There is still some items behind there that still need to be completed, um, but I'm just pushing to electricity. I'll then select the item I want to do, which is going to be wind turbines. Of course it is. That's a good idea for a mod, actually. I don't know if you can do that, though. More options. Like big turbines, small turbines... And then big, small power plants. I've had a look at doing them myself, but you have to put in the mesh for the actual images to make the buildings look right. And yeah, I'm no good at doing stuff like that. That is not what I'm good at. Um, so I can't do it. But maybe somebody else will. Now, going through and healing up the people that need to heal up. This is just what I always do with a bit of extra creative points i use them to heal up the guys that are that require it also it means that then they will like me more and they will give me more creative points because we always go the nice way i've not actually done a run the horrible way that is a very very valid point so basically being a bad god where you kill people to get creative points it sounds really difficult though However, if it's requested, then I will try it out. But that's on you. Again, we need to remember to like this video as much as possible so that we can get the 300 days. I'm hoping, actually, that we should be able to get it to space in 300 days, I reckon. 400 days should we should be travelling throughout planets, I think. I'm sure one of my series, we completed it in sort of five, 600 days. So with a bit of extra persuasion i can try that of course like i said earlier the research though is locked to actual times there's nothing you can do about that another mod idea as well to speed up the research you are well, truly shattering my no expectations day 108 another wolf attack loud noise incoming though i think i'm 
getting better at reducing the racket. The reason I try to, or I spend a bit of time doing it, is I'm trying to get as many wolves, wolfses, as I can with one lightning strike. I don't want to have to use like eight lightning strikes to take out eight wolves. Um, I can't now use any more, so unfortunately people are going to get mauled. It is the way it is. And top left hand corner you can see that walking tree. Does anybody know if that's actually a good thing? Other than it being a walking tree, obviously. I've tried setting fire to it, lightning strike, picking it up, dropping uh, rocks on it, all sorts of things. Nothing happens. Obviously, it's not an achievement of any description because I've completed all the achievements. Um, so, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like a future thing. Who knows? But yeah, pick up. If you're going to kill the wolves individually, lightning costs 25 creator points. But just picking them up with the telekinesis power and dropping them from space so they splat on the floor costs 5. So yeah, use that. Not lightning. Obviously, only use lightning if you get in, like, a few. I mean, technically... I would suggest you not need to kill killing your subject. It it's an it, awful it's waste of such a precious efficiency. resource. Just fair warning. Oil jacks coming in now. Now, there are no huge amounts of volume of oil that I can get where I can place them. There are some nice, juicy areas, like 1,100 to 1,500 and, and above around but they're either too far away or they're already overpopulated with buildings all of that old really dead now. organic matter can finally be put to good use and it will be because we're going to use the oil for fuel in the future along with the gas for glass hard to say day 114 and we finally now have the quest for the electricity it's always the same you complete that quest, you then have to build the battery, find the parts, three parts as I'm doing now. Easy to find, for the full of smoke. And then you get a free in, in, insta-built battery. There's some yellow smoke. Uh, you then have to lightning strike it, which of course requires your creator points. And voila! Completed. We now have the battery. This is now allowing us to selected and get some of those on the way to keep that battery fully charged it is fully charged at the minute because i use the lightning which you can do but it's going to over the next few days obviously the houses and stuff and we're getting to medieval age where the houses start requiring the actual electricity for the lights and stuff so you need to make sure that you do that a couple of gas mines of course they are near the desert because the desert it has the highest amounts of oil and gas, from what I've seen anyway. Same as um, ore is around mountains, obviously. Though it makes no sense because you could have ore without mountains, just underground. Day 125, we have a meteor coming in, which is going to do some damage if we allow it to. So I've put a dome up, of course. There is a lot going on in terms of building. I am making sure that all of the single nuggets have partners so that they make a babies. Because we need babies to grow up and do stuff for me. I.e. run buildings and the like. And here comes the meteors. Meteors. Nothing happened. Nobody lost. No damage done at all. I did mute the sound by accident, although I probably did it to try and stop the racket from the meteors. And when you fly into the dome, it makes an awful noise as well. IMO. Again, all of the water is controlled from this one lake, pond, sea, ocean, whatever it's technically called. You can see now we have plenty of the discovery points. And I'm going through them slowly. They came from... An exhibition. I didn't show because it was just a standard boring one. It's, I didn't go very far because I had nowhere near enough food and they kept dying. Day 137. I'm not sure if it's fixed. These guys always come. Obviously, they then have the barn that's there from long before that. They then build the shuttle and fly off. 
Makes no real sense other than they're probably going to their sister colony, which is where the guy is. I'm guessing um, that that is what the intention is. You don't see them when you're on that final place uh, of the end game. Um, I don't anyway, obviously with your giant robot world destroyer. Planet Cracker, that's him. Day 140 and the expedition, another expedition should I say, is going well. I'll keep it going up until the point that it seems that it's going to become problematic. I don't want to lose people or nuggets, um, but also getting a crap ton of discovery points early on so I don't have to worry about it in the future is fine. I mean, to be honest, anybody playing this now, they fix the bug where you have the schools, universities in. Um, I've never struggled so I'm going to look there at the fishermen fishing or fisher people. And yeah, I think the progress is decent. 259 believers, 259 nuggets in total. So everybody's happy with me and know I exist at the moment. The exiles are close and they're going to have to be pushed out uh, at some point. I will likely be using... Hopefully saving up my creator points and dropping some meteors on them. If you drop two, that definitely breaks through the shield and does a bit of damage. Three should wipe them out mostly. Four inevitably does wipe them out. You can see I've built the wind turbines around this lake. Five in total I've put down anyway. And then a reservoir and a engineer's hut. And I'm just trying to clear up a mess now for that and yeah i did manage to find the mute button so that's why there's nice music instead of the annoying wind sounds from this day 146 there's fires all over my city i um yeah i'm not sure if it's because the crime rate is up i don't believe that that's a thing but it could be they normally just riot i don't think they set fire to buildings more than they riot and just knock down buildings but that is a decent fire I do not have enough creator points in order to make it rain to put it out. So there is, of course, only one solution, and that is to sacrifice someone. Really, I do this, as I say, I usually go along the good way. Um, but yeah, if I sacrifice someone, it should give me an easy one to 200 points, which is more than enough to... Yoink. What was that? 100, yes. Um, 100 so that gives us enough to put down three of the reins so 40 each right 4 8 12 yeah there we go fixed now then buildings will obviously have to be fixed and yet another wolf attack coming in along with the volcanic activity so turning the stats up to maximum definitely makes a difference that was quite cool by the way that hit and set the ground on fire all of the wolves ran through the fire setting the wolves on fire and killing them so i killed every single wolf there seven i believe it was with one lightning strike so that was very efficient pushing forward to day 163 and the research is doing well we're just getting up to the science of order science of peace now which is your prison or your rehabilitation rehabilitation center um, the research again is going well though it will do discovery points 185 so we're doing well there two 313 colonists and that looks to me like 313 if you do the math nuggets as well uh, believers so we've got 300 points and climbing so there are some people injured there so let's get those healed finally with all of the windmills going day 167 I'm also going to get a stone refinery in or an additional stone refinery to make sure we have plenty of bricks and yes all of these buildings are pushing into the territory of the exiles and i'm not bothered they're already uh, what would you say they're already aggressive anyway so it doesn't matter it doesn't get any worse and the more you put down it doesn't make them any more likely or less likely to attack you so Annoyingly, you have to keep clicking the button. It would be nice if you had a button that says, I don't care. But yeah, another wolf attack, day 168. That's one, two, three. So effectively, 
75. I don't know what math I'm trying to do there. Uh, that well, Yeah, 75 creator points, which was expensive, but it's easy. So I'm going to put some defensive towers because eventually they will or they may try and attack. And of course, when they do, they will attack through here because it's the shortest distance. So if I put one or two defensive towers around here and get them manned, they will do the job immediately. Now, as soon as they are dealt with, I'll rip those down because defensive towers, although they are good for protection, if you're not having a problem with it, they just bring down your happiness and raise your crime rate, I believe it is. I'm not sure if they do affect the crime rate. Technically, they should reduce it, but I think they increase it. So, looking over the city now, we are 169, of course we are. 320 nuggets. Everybody believes in climbing. Still looking okay. The stats are bad, though. So, Iron, you can see we have... Uh, we're about 300 short planks. We are about 300 short and bricks. We are about 400 short Which is why what I did was I built an extra two Stone refineries and two wood refineries. So I now have I think I have three wood refineries and four stone refineries The woods coming in. Okay, uh, that's easily enough to do anyway with a god power if you wish create points as the stone, 400, so that's fine. We just need to get it to the refineries and get the people working on it. Using the black market or trying to, but I'll be honest, I really don't like the idea. Well, no, I like the idea of it, but I never really find a good use for it. Without just taking a crap ton of the negative events. And even if you do, I mean... A blizzard for 19 food or a locust swarm for 21 wood and 8 food. It just isn't worth... It just isn't worth it. Losing 10 whole nuggets for 16 food and 5 herbs. It's just crap. Now, yes, the markup is high, 30%, but it's not going to change much. I mean, 30% isn't huge when you're talking 20 food. Um, to increase that by 100% is only 40 food, and that's still negligible when we have 400. So I never see a purpose for that. Again, you could, if you was to do a playthrough where you was a bad god, and you sacrificed people for creator points, you then sacrificed people to get the food used in the black market. Again, that would be a very hard way of playing the game. But other than that, playing the game normally, it's just not worth it. I am out. So I'll do a bit of a time lapse over the main front of the city for the next sort of, what, five, seven days, sort of a week in time, just to have a bit of a chat where we're at. So we are obviously medieval age. We're doing well. 327 nuggets. No catastrophes as of yet. Even though it's turned up to the maximum it can be. This game is very forgiving. Did you just see that wheel fly off there? Probably not with how fast it was going for me, for you, but... When they upgrade the water wheels, and if you look out for any of the other ones that upgrade throughout this process, um, yeah, the actual wheel flies off into the water. That's quite impressive. So this is going to be coming up to day 180 or so by the time this is over, I would expect. And then we're going for 200. Remember to like the video should you want to see any more. And if anybody wants to see that sort of hard mode um, playthrough, let me know. Again, the mods, as soon as there are decent mods uh, that I'm interested in, I will do a playthrough for that anyway. Other videos, of course, are always available, though limited at the moment due to uh, illness. But, of course, we will continue. Don't forget to check out Minecraft. I'm sure most of you, if you like this sort of game, you must love Minecraft. I certainly do. And uh, there's a lot of videos of that to come. As long as I don't die, because it's hardcore. And we're back. Day 192, and I have some bridges in place finally, which is good because that uh, main sea ocean thing that we started building around is quite cluttered all the way around, and the bridges allow us to speed that process up. We are, as you can probably tell, 
in the middle of a blizzard as well, which is a little bit annoying. Now, all it does really is freeze your nuggets into ice blocks, like what happens on planets that are cold. But because this isn't a cold planet, it is just a blizzard. As soon as the blizzard ends, your nuggets should thaw automatically. If you wish to speed that up, you can use your fire spell. Uh, but it's expensive. It's 50 creator points per nugget. Um, so I would suggest not to bother. Now, they can die because it does reduce their health by sort of 20 to 25 hit points. But my whole population usually because i'm healing them all the time uh it, it, that's not going to kill no one so i'm not worried and there you go we're already out of it you can see they are now thawing themselves without wasting any time you can check on them if you wish you can see there the health on that nugget was about 70 80 i healed them just in case but you don't need to and then going through just making sure now that anyone is down if you notice that the bars are lower than what they should be, so they're all showing 85, but there is quite a large gap that what they can be healed. That's just your upgrades, whether it be your discovery point upgrades or whether it be actual normal research upgrades. Um, basically, their maximum health is just increased. Now, it will increase automatically over time, but it does take a while, or you can use your spells to do it for them. A few infected zones coming up. They are within the remit of the cemeteries but they are being upgraded which is why they are delayed i'm not sure if it stops them totally because i've not been able to conclude that what i'm finding is and there's another bridge so you can see i'm really linking this area up together because the lake in the middle ocean whatever really is causing some issues so that when built should look good plus everybody loves a bridge right but yeah back to the cemeteries if they're being upgraded sometimes they seem to work normally sometimes they work at lower capacity i can't quite figure it out but rest assured once the once they are upgraded they will continue to work as normal and also you'll have an additional member of them anyway found two boxes they were from dropping the meteors on the exiles as i said it was only two it's got rid of, I don't know, building-wise, it's got rid of about half to 75% of the buildings. The population, though, although it, they did get killed, they're already back to 50, which is weird. So they lost a lot of their houses, but they've actually multiplied faster. I don't understand that, but it doesn't matter. All I'm doing is just letting her know his boss. They've not tried to attack or anything, and I don't expect they will. Day 197, I'm just going around now and deconstructing or just knocking down all of the towers. Uh, I got, I, I, I turned on the governor to do it automatically and they just chuck them everywhere. I, I don't want them, like I said, it, it just causes more problems than it's worth. It also takes a nugget or two, at the minute it's only one, but it will be two in the future um, in terms of staffing. And I need them to do other more useful things. I am, however, telling them to salvage, so all of the research resources not research i will get back and i've also turned them off so they won't be automatically building anymore uh, if i need guard towers in the future defensive towers in the future for expanding etc i will of course just build them um but for now i'd rather have the resources in storage and the, the nuggets doing something else and pushing directly into day 200 is, of course, yet another disaster, and that is the Inferno heat wave. So what I'm doing now is zoomed right out on the world to see where the fires are going to start. Of course, they will start. 425 creator points. Of course, I knew it was coming because it was reported so. So you do want to make sure you hold up those to do put out the fires. 400 points 40 points per trickle or rain cloud so that's 10 we can put out at that point though if we do uh run out of points then it's gonna have to burn i have no fire services built in at the minute uh will i probably not to be honest uh the creator points because you are a good god the creator points are always coming in thick and fast so i'm not too worried we are down to our last 70, so we have enough to do one, maybe two trickles 
Uh, there we go. Just enough to do one last one. And perfect timing. Day 201 and we survived the inferno. Everybody's looking happy. Still 100% believing and everybody is looking good. We do have some updates to do, some upgrades on the buildings to do. But of course, that will have to continue. If you want to see days 201 to 300, make sure to like the video. 20 likes will make me do that. Until next time, thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.